Hi guys, follow me on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I am riding this, driving this. This is the Piaggio Ape E City, and my whole life has been a lie because I thought it's known as Piaggio Ape, but it is Ape. And this is an electric rickshaw. Straight away, we are going to be looking at the front because there is no hood to open as such. These are blue vision headlamps. I don't know why it has a blue tinge on the bulb, of course. Indicator, nothing is LED here. Everything is halogen, although LED would be better to increase the range of this particular vehicle. It gets not a dual tone, it gets a three tone paint treatment. So you get black, you get yellow and you get a soft top. This is not a convertible top, but this is finished in blue. From the side, the length is actually... Can you guess how much? 2.7 meters. The wheelbase is almost 2 meters and the width is 1.4 meters. The height is almost 1.7 meters. Okay, mirrors are not internally adjustable. It's actually internally adjustable. You have to move your hand from there. It's raining cats and dogs. Oh my goodness. The design is actually quite bulky from one side. From this side, it feels a little bulky. We'll quickly get inside. I'll show you the dashboard and hope for the rain to stop by there. So, there are plenty of buttons here and there. Firstly, I can actually open the glove box using the key and the key needs to be used in a lot of places. This is the toolkit of the vehicle and here there is storage space but it says dashboard something something that's gone out. Now there is a bottle holder here where actually a 1 litre bottle fits in because this is actually very flexible. This looks like a speaker but there is no music system or audio system in this car. Now this is the Piaggio iConnect connected vehicle tech. Okay, it's got an app wherein you can see what is the range and a lot of battery data as well as geofencing and tracking your vehicle. So that's again a good thing. There is a 12 volt charging socket right there. Now this is for the hazard light. This is for the wiper. The vehicle is not on right now. And this is for the headlight. A lot of exposed screws here and there. This is the handbrake of the vehicle. You have to press a button to put it down. This is the brake fluid and all that. This happens to be the brake. Throttle of course. This is for the high beam, low beam. This is for the indicator and the horn is placed right there. The handlebar is actually quite easy to move. Okay, you get a nice and large windscreen, plenty of headroom. In fact, you can see there is so much headroom for me right now. And the mirrors are actually small. They don't offer a great visibility as such. There is a secret storage space for your papers, which you can just keep wherever you feel like. Now let's get to the instrument cluster, which means where is the key? I need to use the key. Here you slot in the key and there the instrument cluster comes to life. Now this is an all digital unit and there are so many telltale lights. First and foremost, I get confused looking at it. This is actually telling you if it's charged. This is telling you if it needs service. This is again saying if there's an error. Indicators yeah, on either side. And oh my God, it is raining cats and dogs. Water is coming inside because this is not a waterproof vehicle at all. Reverse, neutral, front, boost. These are the modes. And this is for the light. Now, this is telling me that the key or the ignition is turned on. This is for battery regeneration. This is uh, a battery warning for the battery here, this battery actually. And uh, this seems to be the brake, some warning for the braking as such. And this is in case the motor heats up. Now, this digital cluster is telling me state of charge right now. This is the odometer. It has only clocked 30 kilometers. I actually got this under 20 kilometers. A digital speedometer right there. And I can press this set button to browse through the twin trip meters of this vehicle. Meanwhile, obviously a lot of hard plastics are there inside. Now the irony is when you actually turn it on, it shows something like a DTE here inside. But honestly, there is no DTE which I can find in the instrument cluster. It says Ape Electric Precol is the manufacturer of the same. Meanwhile, let's use the wipers right away. Yeah, actually, wipers do a decent job. They are so fast. Is there a slow speed? Okay, you have to turn it off in the right place. Otherwise, wherever you turn it off, it will stop there only. So we're going to turn it off in the right place. Anyways, this is the mode selector, reverse, neutral, forward, and this is the boost. It says emergency switch. I don't know what the emergency is for. Okay, you can see waterproofing is not the best. There's a lot of water which has come inside. Coming outside, you can also get this in a cargo variant. Now, this is the passenger variant, which is a one plus three, which is driver plus three passengers. The spare wheel is placed below the driver's seat. And, uh, you know, obviously it's a tune to mint to tire size on this particular vehicle. So you can see at the front and the rear as well, the tire size happens to be actually an 8 incher with the width being only 4 inches. So very small tires. That's the reason there's not much amount of grip level, but smaller tires is always good for less rolling resistance and better mileage as well. It says electric FX. You know why FX stands for fixed, I believe. So we are trying to open the battery to access it. Now this one has the fixed battery, FX stands for that itself. Meanwhile, you can also get a swappable battery. Now the swappable battery, instead of one fat battery, like in this case, that one has three batteries, okay, three. And you can remove them and swap them for another battery using the Piaggio app, of course. 
and then the running cost is actually 2 rupees per kilometer otherwise the running cost is just 39 paisa per kilometer but that is a very handy feature that way obviously you don't have to wait to charge it takes 3 hours 45 minutes to charge it from a regular 15 ampere socket at home there you can see the wheels and the suspension now what you're going to do is you're going to get to the rear seat there are actually doors here which is a good touch and the doors open wider than the Tata Altros is because it's slightly more than 90 degrees this is the charger of the vehicle and uh, there is storage space here as well so it's a very practical vehicle in that sense there's no rear wiper because there's no glass at the rear once i step inside i realize that legroom is just about adequate okay there's water dropping because i stepped onto and moved the vehicle a bit so legroom and knee room could be a lot better and the thigh support is actually very very poor as such headroom is just about adequate but it's very nice and windy and airy good amount of air which comes inside thanks to the super large windows or rather the lack of windows and there is a handle to hold on to on both the sides now can you believe it it's become all of a sudden sunny let's start riding right away riding driving samajh nahi kya bolu aaj all right we're all set to go which means turning this on there it rose to life take some time actually and then simply we get into forward okay now here u turn is so freaking easy no effort at all and i'm on full throttle right now so the performance isn't that great in forward mode it's obviously better in boost mode because it gives more punch as such it feels kind of very hairy yeah i know it feels very hairy brakes could have been a lot better at the front we've got coil springs at the rear we've got rubber springs but straight away onto the throttle response could be a lot better but you know compared to a regular rickshaw it is way better here we are we are going to get into boost mode straight away and left foot on the brake right hand on the throttle and off we go this is a top speed run claim top speed 45 kilometers per hour but on the meter we are going to do a lot more because obviously there is speedo error now i am doing almost 41 kilometers per hour it takes its own sweet time they have actually restricted the top speed in the interest of safety i believe and we are doing yeah baby we are doing 50 kilometers per hour actually it manages to do 53 kilometers here yeah, come on 52 and 52 53 there it is 53 hard under the brakes full on the brakes and their stopping power is actually adequate enough so we're going to be riding in boost mode only it gets a 7.5 kilowatt hour battery which is actually good enough for a 110 kilometer range plus minus 5 is what piaggio says but i believe in the real world it should return somewhere between 80 to 85 kilometers it produces 7.3 horsepower 7.29 horsepower to be precise or 5.44 kilowatt and the torque output is 29 newton meters now that peak power which i was talking about comes in at 3500 rpm but peak torque of 29 newton meters comes from 0 rpm that's the reason why the drivability is absolutely phenomenal here feels very punchy has a nice linear punch and doesn't feel breathless at all very well maneuverable as well and so much easier to ride here i'm comfortably cruising at 52 km per hour it gets very bouncy because the suspension is obviously on the softer side very soft suspension here for a good ride quality and let me admit it that the ride is actually quite nice now you can charge it at your home with a regular 15 ampere charging socket takes 3 hours 45 minutes to do the full charge which is actually decent and with the swappable battery per swap you get 68 km of range now this doesn't have the swappable battery so that's a bit of a bummer but that's a different variant i believe that will cost more now the advantage of such a machine is that there is no registration charge or very nominal registration charge there is no permit required either and then obviously zero emission very frugal as well doesn't pollute the environment so lot of benefits in that sense and you know what is the cost of this vehicle it is around rupees 2 lakhs the cornering is a bit of a hairy movement because of the small tires and the soft suspension the handlebar is very what do i call it uh, lacking inspiration it doesn't have high speed stability because it doesn't even go to high speeds as such but if you corner really hard now there's a very high chance that you are going to topple this machine but you don't need to worry about it because this is not about riding it flat out right like i'm doing right now it's more about uh, you know riding it very sanely the best thing is that compared to a regular petrol powered or a cng powered auto rickshaw this one is so much easier to ride because you know you don't have to get into the complex gear a uh, reverse mechanism which is there in a regular rickshaw you can just you know turn the knob here that's how easy it is plus let's not forget that you don't have to worry about clutch and gear shifts and any of that sort 
it's just so easy plus noise vibration harshness not present at all yeah no noise vibration or harshness because it is silent it is very smooth okay <laughs> it can get very hairy as well and then because the soft suspension a bounce is sure to happen when you go fast over bad bumps so you really have to curtail your speed over bad roads otherwise the passengers inside are going to be tossed all over the place there's no air conditioning on offer thankfully there's a lot of wind which actually flows from right there on the inside but you have to be a little careful when cornering because this has the tendency to roll a lot and then the roll is such that you know you feel you're going to topple any moment and then you come to this kind of road and you realize that the middle road is dirty but where do you ride because one wheel is in the center and two are on the side makes a lot of noise so nvh from the motor very nice and silent which by the way is obviously waterproof the motor is waterproof but they have written do not pour any water here for the electrical system and around the corner the roll is so much i might just fall out of this vehicle that is the level of roll on offer but hey that's the fun of riding something like this it's an absolute absolute beast of sorts it's rolling 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 beyond the point it might just topple now it's also got hill hold assist which means that it will not roll back on a hill should i pull the handbrake and try to do a drift because i know if i try to do that it is almost certain going to topple yeah it's just so much fun to ride but you know what is the best thing that piaggio has made a vehicle which will make running costs even cheaper and thereby giving more profits to people who are actually using this for commercial purposes and that's actually a good thing because that's going to help auto rickshaw guys earn more money which will improve their quality of life and that's the reason why i will actually upload the effort here Now I want to show you another cool thing but before that I also want to tell you that other factors which make it really attractive for commercial purposes is the fact that maintenance is very low there's no engine there's no gear or clutch to take care of which means that again running cost will be low plus 3 years there is no maintenance 3 years 1 lakh kilometer warranty and then there's 3 years AMC annual maintenance charge of only rupees 3000 One thousand a year. That's super duper attractive as well. Now this one weighs four hundred thirteen kgs, which is not a lot as such. Oh, that's the reason why it's so bouncy as well with the soft suspension. And not to forget, it has a nice gradeability of nineteen degrees, which means that if you want to ride it on inclines as well, you don't have to worry. It will climb very nicely as well. Now here, hard onto the brake, stops nicely. I want to also show you another cool feature. We are into reverse. Now in reverse gear, full throttle. You won't believe it actually does a top speed of twenty. 1 kilometers per hour in reverse that's also very nice indeed brakes are actually decent and here we go again so come on give me the power give me the oomph full throttle should i corner of course i should but the roll is so much now it kind of pitches it kind of feels like it's going to lift one of its wheels off and going to topple as such so obviously not for spirited driving but nobody really drives this spiritedly other than fasal khan of course who has absolutely no clue that he should be driving much slower right now with this piaggio ape because this is not meant for pedal to the metal but still because the electric motor gives instant torque rush there is very good performance on offer here i'm quite impressed by the same now i have driven the bajaj auto rickshaw you can click somewhere here to see that review as well and that one although nice nvh not great little cumbersome to drive with the gears and all that stuff so this brings a fresh lease of life in terms of ease of riding and ease of almost everything only thing is they should have offered front seat belts as well which nobody really offers here hard with the brakes so short footed the handlebar remains stable So guys this is my vlog of the Piaggio Ape E City I think a fantastic effort from Piaggio and then they also have a very wide network as well which makes it a very attractive proposition as well if you like this vlog make sure to give the thumbs up that's a like button and also subscribe to the channel hard onto the brakes yeah there they locked and the vlog is over बहुत पीछे दिए तुमने सो द व्लॉग माइट बी ओवर बट देर कपल ऑफ थिंग्स आई केम टू नो राइट नाउ द रीजन वाई इट्स टिप्सी टॉर्वी नाउ ऑल द टाइम इज बिकॉज ऑफ लैक ऑफ वेट इट हैज गॉट रबर सस्पेंशन ना एट द रियर सो बिकॉज ऑफ विच वैन यू लोड मोर स्टफ और मोर पीपल इन साइड दैन इट बिकम्स लिटिल बिट मोर स्टेबल एंड द प्राइस विच आई मेंशन इज टू लैक्स इज नॉट एक्चुअली इट टर्न्स आउट बी थ्री एंड अ हाफ लैक्स समवेयर अराउंड दैट मीन वाइल आई फॉर टू शो यू द लोअर पार्ट ऑफ दिस रिक्शा देर यू सी दैट द सस्पेंशन द टायर एंड ऑफ कोर्स प्लग्स फॉर द बैटरी ऑल दैट इज गोइंग देर इज वेल एंड दिस व्लॉग इज नाउ ऑफिशियली ओवर यस धूम मचा ले